Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my June favorites and I have a couple of new exciting products that I've been loving so let's just go ahead and get into it. The first thing I'm going to talk about is a new heat protectant that I've been trying. You guys know I love the Tresemme heat tamer spray, just the original one, but I've been trying out the Tresemme Keratin Smooth and I like this one a lot because it helps to keep my hair completely smooth from frizz. I just like to spray this before I blow dry my hair and I blow dry my hair straight. And if I decide to go over with a heating iron, like a, a straightener, then I will spray it again for heat protectant and I will go over and it really helps to tame any flyaways or frizz. And I just think it's a great, you know, heat protectant. I love that Tresemme heat protectant. So... This one I knew I would love as well. I just got it because it was targeted towards um, like straight hair and smoothing it out. So I like this. I just feel like all beachy, especially with this color. This color is absolutely one of my favorite colors for the summertime. So that can be my first favorite. I've just been loving like peachy, corally, like bright colors. And definitely my nails. Um, I know they're kind of chipped. I'm not even sure if you can see the color properly. Um, but it's just like this peach color and it is called Floaties and it's from Sally Hansen's new, like I guess it's like their summer nail polish collection. I just think this color is so beautiful and I've had this on for almost a week and a half now so the chipping, I expect it. So besides that, the color is just to die for. The next product I want to talk about is a new scent that I've been trying from Bath & Body Works. And Oahu, I think that's how you say it. <laughs> And this basically is just described as a coconut blossom, pink tiger lily, and molten amber. This is just a perfect summer scent. It smells like coconuts. I love the smell of coconuts. It kind of has a little scent of vanilla in it. Just a tad. And I just... Coconut and vanilla in one type of product is just heaven to me. And this just smells like the beach and summer, and I definitely love it. On to my makeup favorites. I have a couple new products that I tried out this month, and I definitely fell in love with them. And one of them is the Bare Minerals Prime Time Foundation Primer, and this is just the original one. The reason I got this one was because it says it's no silicone in it and there's a lot of vitamins in it which is really great for your skin. I didn't really want to get the one that was targeted towards oily skin that would help tame oil because even though it's summer and I do get oily, I just find that primers that are targeted towards people with oily skin or to stop the oil really dry my skin out after a couple times of using it. So I kind of wanted to try one that was just basically normal for anyone who wanted to try it. And I definitely, definitely love this. This does not leave me oily throughout the day. This helps my foundation stay on completely all day. And it does help to minimize the oil that breaks through my foundation. I really don't have to touch up much throughout the day. I just think this is a great overall basic primer. And for those of you who like primers that are silicone free, definitely try this one out because I'm sure you will love it. There are different ranges um, for the prime time from Bare Minerals. There's like a BB cream one, uh, oil free one, one for neutralizing, one for brightening. There's a bunch of different ones um, from this brand for this prime time line. So I'm, there's probably something for everybody and I think someone would enjoy it. The next product here is a product that I stopped using for a bit and this is the Benefit Professional. I used to love this, I used to talk about it all the time and the reason why I stopped using it was because I mainly use this just in this area where I can see my pores and I noticed that it started to really dry that area out. Anytime I would apply this pore filler in the pore areas and apply my foundation over top it would just be so flaky and you would see the dry skin and I just narrowed it down to it being this so I stopped using it for a couple months and I used it one day and I just been using it here and there and I just really use this for days where I feel like my pores are really noticeable and I really want to minimize them this is a great pore filler if you have really large pores I would just say um, to smooth it over and not pat it in so much because I think that's why I started noticing dry areas was because I was patting a lot into my pores 
So I've been smoothing it over and I haven't noticed a difference in my skin yet, which I'm really pleased about. So next is an oldie but a goodie and this is the Naked 2 palette. I've been using it a lot this month just because of the first couple colors in this palette. Basically using the color Half Baked all over my lid. I've been using the Booty Call color right in my inner corners just to brighten it up. And I've been also taking Foxy and just putting it on my brow bone for a highlight. And I've been throwing the color Tease just in the crease. That is one of my go-to eye looks. I just think it's absolutely beautiful for summer. And I've just been really enjoying this palette. I'm again. not sure if I mentioned this next product in my last favorites, but this is the L'Oreal Voluminous Full Definition in the Gold Tube. And I love this one so, so, so much better than just the original Voluminous, which is, yeah, the Voluminous original in the black tube. This one is super, super clumpy. This one just gives so much volume and lengthens your lashes without getting clumpy, and I just love it. That's all I can really say about it. It is a great, great basic mascara, and it's super cheap. I get it for like $5 at Walmart, and this is just an awesome mascara. And my last three products are lippies. What can I say? I just love lipstick. So the first one here is the Bite High Pigment Pencil. This is what it looks like, and this is in the color Madeira. I think that's how you say it. And what I like about this packaging, it kind of feels like NARS packaging. It's just really, really, um, like, it's not really velvety. I just think it's a really, I like the feeling of the packaging, <laughs> but it doesn't get dirty like NARS products do. And I love how you can see the color of the product right at the bottom of the pencil. I just think that is super cute. And it's basically just a pencil formed lipstick. And this is like a, it's basically your basic pink nude color. And I love that it's in a pencil form because it's super easy to apply on your lips. It is super moisturizing, very long wearing, and it's really, really pigmented on the lips. I just think this is a beautiful, basic, everyday lip color. And I've been loving pairing that with the Bite Lush Fruit Lip Gloss. And this is in the color Peach. It's not a peach color. <laughs> I don't know why they call it peach. It's a basic pink. And the reason I like this lip gloss is because it's not that sticky, yet it lasts, seriously, a very, very long time. It'll last through eating for me. And I'm not sure if you're able to get the color well on the camera, but it's just a really nice, basic pink. And I just think these two colors look amazing together. And then the last lip product here is my MAC Silly Lip Glass. The color is not going to pick up on this camera as vibrant as this color is. It's a very, very hot pink. And... I really don't know why I bought this in the first place because I really steer away from colors like this, but I love it. It's what I'm wearing today, if you're able to tell. It's not going to pick up as bright as it is in person, but this is what it looks like. It was a limited edition product. I'm not sure if they brought it back, but they did bring it back a couple times, so I'm sure in a new collection it'll you'll see it again. It's just a really great summer color if you want a very bright pop of color on your lips. I just think it's a great, great color. Again, it's what I'm wearing today. Just a really great color, as so I said. So those were all my June favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, let me know down below in the comments what your June favorites were because I love trying new products and hearing your guys' recommendations. So thank you again for watching, and until next time, I will see you in my next video. Bye!